Hey everybody. So we're currently at my place of work and the Porta Cube system is having a little bit of an issue. So we had a power outage this morning and it lasted for probably a couple of hours or so. And of course the Porta Cube remains on all the time unless there's a power outage. And they, uh, so essentially I arrived to work and had to stay outside until the power was restored and then they gave us the all clear and unlocked the building let us come in come in and sit at my desk try to turn this thing on and nothing nothing at all come around to the back and i listen to this power supply and they hear making a little um making a little buzzing noise so this is a this is a best tech atx 312e this is not the infamous best tech supply that's known for frying e-machine systems this one has an IC controlled 5 volt standby rail and typically what happens with these is um, there's a specific capacitor, I don't know the designation off the top of my head, but it's a 6.3 volt or 10 volt 2200 microfarad capacitor that is situated right, you might be able to see it from here, I don't know if this will show up or not, it is, if it'll focus on it right. Uh, it's right next to the heat sink over there. There we are. You see the top of it right there. So it's not bulging, but I did recap this sink some time ago, and that particular capacitor is a motherboard harvester capacitor, and it's probably just dried out inside. These units, they're notorious for um, overheating that specific capacitor. And what will happen is when there's a power outage, the unit is shut off, it cools down, you go to try to start it, nothing happens. So what I did is I took the cover off the case, because I suspected you know, the capacitor is not bulging, but it's probably borderline um, failing. But with these electrolytic caps, when you warm them up a little bit, they'll start working. So what it is, I took the cover off, unplugged the uh, main connection off the motherboard. That way there's no 5 volt standby load on this unit. Plugged it in, no noise. And if I, for example, probe the plus 5 volt standby rail, which is the purple wire, you can see we're getting a solid 5 volts. And I should note when I plugged this thing in, it buzzed for like half a second, then the 5 volt standby rail came up. So what I'm doing is I'm letting it just sit here and run with no um, load on it. Now the unit's not actually running, it's just sitting in standby. The idea is to warm up that capacitor and then I'll plug everything back up and try to start it and we'll see if it'll start up. But I will be taking the system home over the weekend and I'm going to be re replacing that capacitor in this power supply. This is just a makeshift measure to see if we can get this thing to start up that way I can use it today. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug this, and we'll listen for a little sound it'll make when it discharges, and make a little chirp sound. Okay, it actually didn't do it. Um, I'm just going to sit here and wait a moment, and then I'm going to plug in this motherboard connection and attempt to start this thing. Alright, okay, let's attempt to start it. Still doing the buzzing sound. Okay, so it didn't start. So what I did this time is I unplugged the main motherboard connection and it fired up again in 5 volt standby. And what I've done now is I've jumped green to black to actually fire up the power supply. See if we can generate some heat in there and warm that capacitor up. We'll give it probably 10 minutes or so. Okay, it's been a little while now, and actually I had this little card across the uh, fan on the power supply to try to make it more effective in heating this thing up a little bit. It's got hardly any load on it, so I unplugged it and plugged it back in. There was no sound. It just fired right up, and of course with that plugged up, it just fired right up. So let's plug everything back up and give this another try. Okay, so I plugged the power supply back into the motherboard and reconnected everything I disconnected, and we are back up and running. So, 
we managed to jump start this thing and get it back up and running however i still will need to take this thing home this weekend and do a partial recap probably just that one capacitor that i mentioned of earlier and i'll feature that in the video i'll of course show you the capacitor that's most likely the culprit it's a pretty easy fix for those who are uh, familiar with how to solder okay so i'm getting ready to leave for today and getting ready to shut this thing down and it's been running fine ever since that jump started on today that's the thing about these uh best tech um power supplies is the ones with the ic controlled 5 volt standby circuit if that one particular capacitor the 2200 microfarad 10 volt cap next to the heatsink starts to go bad uh, these things will not start um after a cold start let's say for example if power goes out and the power supply cools down it won't start back up but if it's running or plugged in at least it'll keep right on going and the funny thing is is there's videos on youtube of people using hair dryers to jump start these things and while that will get you going for a little while um, it's best to either replace the unit or repair it and for those who can solder it's a pretty easy repair on this particular model unit the best tech 312e because it has that clamshell case the best tech atx 312z and 25012z a little more involved because you gotta actually take the pcb out of the case it's a little bit more work but it's still doable so we're gonna be shutting this thing down and uh, we'll be doing the repair in a upcoming video Hey everybody, thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified new video post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cube Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.